Hey guys, Jess here and welcome to Minecraft Diaries. I am so super stoked to show you guys what has been done to Kiki's farmhouse and what has been done to my house because I've caught a little glimpse of it um, and I'm super excited to go check it out but I'm not gonna look at it any more than I already have because it was a little spoiler for me but I'm really excited to go see what it looks like. But before we do that, I wanna show you all what has happened to Kiki's farmhouse, which as you remember was just a little like on top of a hill But now that hill has been completely removed the elephants are now running wild somewhere I know Juju's like off somewhere and as you can see the farmhouse is just phenomenal. It's huge It's amazing and I hope Kiki likes it. I'm about to I really should just talk to her before I kind of just show this off Shouldn't I? Yeah, let's give Kiki a little talking to uh, I've mouth This is I don't even know what to say right now do, do you like it? Like it? I, I, I love it! I finally have a home of my own for myself and my little animal friends. I can take care of all the sick animals and give them the love they deserve in a proper manner. Aphmau, this means so much to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Aww! No, don't mention it. Yeah, you are, you just keep thanking me. I mean, I don't get, no, just don't mention it. I am going to mention it to all of my new animal friends. Wait, what? Come on in, guys. Wait, what? Holy cow, that's a lot of animals there, and there isn't even a cow. Whoa, where did they all come from? I mean, I know about the bee and the bird and the mouse that's outside for some reason, but I didn't know about the turkey, the raccoon, the fox. Is that my fox, actually? Is that the fox? Is that Star Fox I got away? No, it's not. I, I don't know. If it, even if it is Star Fox, Kiki is now taking care of Star Fox and Sean Connery. You now, you giant hamster. You now have this amazing area. And I don't know where Cuddlezilla is. Maybe he's with Brendan or something. But oh my goodness. Okay, so there's so many animals here, and Kiki, this is amazing. Hey, <laughs> aren't they all cute? Um, where did they all come from? Lately, the forces of nature seemed in perfect balance, like it's satisfied, as if it's prevented something horrible from happening. Things are slowly feeling normal. Well, to me at least. Does that sound weird? Uh, no, you're actually more attuned with nature than anyone I know. Thanks, Lord Aphmau. Now guess what time it is. I really want to say adventure time, but the logical solution to this situation is animal party? Close. It's time to start decorating for the baby shower. I actually almost forgot about that. I'll start getting things ready here. You go and tell all the villagers and we'll have a baby shower no one will ever forget. Don't worry about telling Molly and Emma. I've already prepared them for this. Well, get going. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, that's tonight, isn't it? <gasps> because she said that we were going to do the... <gasps> when this was done. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. All right. So now that we've seen Kiki's farmhouse, it looks amazing. It's so big. She's got so much room to put the elephants in if she wants to. She also has room to just do a bunch of stuff. Now the stables need to be completed. There's, oh, look at those deer. There's like one already inside. The stables still need to be completed. I didn't really like do anything with that because I didn't know how Kiki wanted to separate her animals. Um, but I don't even think they need to be separated because they're so like perfectly just happy with each other so that's a great thing now you've probably already seen my house I've seen a glimpse of it and I've tried not to look at it because I know Kiki and Brendan have been doing like a crazy job with it um but I saw a glimpse of it because it's hard not to miss it's just big and purple let's put it like that so I'm really excited to see what it looks like up close so let's go take a look and see what work has been done oh my god that's a lot of purple <laughs> that is a lot of well I sh I should have not expected anything normal like the other houses <laughs> i get the trees are different too there's different colors purple trees she really likes to emphasize on the color that someone likes doesn't she i don't know this is different i i like it it's really cute i like it kawaii chan um Apple senpai what do you think of your kawaii chan fied house <laughs> i um I could say it looks gross, or I could say, I absolutely love it, Desu. Why is Desu there? <laughs> Woo, Kawaii-chan is super happy to know you love it. To be honest, Kawaii-chan was a little worried you might not have liked Kawaii-chan's style, but Kawaii-chan is just so happy that you're, ha that you're happy Kawaii-chan might just cry. Oh, she's happy that I'm happy, so she's gonna, I want to see inside. 
Oh, of course. Brendan and Kawaii Chan will leave you to see the inside. Kawaii Chan, you're Kawaii Chan thinks you're going to love it. Anyway, Kawaii Chan is heading home now. Ciao. Um. Oh wait, you got a, the baby shower. Really? Fantastical. Kawaii Chan will be there. Kawaii Chan is pretty sure Brendan will too. Um. Will he be there as well? Uh. He. Lawrence. I talked to him while we were renovating the inside. He's been through a lot. Kawaii Chan really wants him to go. He needs to get out. Do you think he? Do you think you can make sure he comes to the party? Kawaii Chan thinks he'll go if Afmao Senpai asks him. Uh, of course. Why wouldn't I ask him? Great. We'll see you at the shower later. Ciao! Oh, that was nice of them. That was so nice of them to do this for me. The playground size hasn't changed as much, but I think I'm going to fix that later and make it a little bit different. Um, anyway, I'm super excited to see what's inside, and I see so much purple and, po and like, checkered board. I'm going to close that up. This is so cool. I like this. I don't, I, I, I don't know if I actually, like, super like this because it's so bright, and it might, like, contrast with, like, a bunch of other stuff I'm going to put in here, but that's a challenge. I'll be able to work around it. Um, let's go see what's upstairs. Ooh, what's this? <gasps> is this, is this a, this is, this is a room. Is this my room? I hope this is my room because I have, like, a lovely view of the village. <gasps> I like this. This is so nice. And this is Levin's room. Yeah, look how cute this. Aww. And the music box. And aw, this is so cute. And his little name tag. But um, there's there th where where's the uh where are the other rooms actually? Cause I, I I told her four rooms, right? Yeah, I I definitely told her four. But let's go see what else is down here, back where my old uh, little base of operations was. And uh, <gasps> ooh. Oh, look at this! Oh, there's Lawrence! Um, I, I better go talk to- So, so there's Lawrence, and- Oh, there's two rooms! Okay, so let's go see Lawrence, since I just kind of closed the door. Um, Lawrence, how are you doing? This place smells like cakes. Was it because of Kawaii-chan? Uh, yeah, she offered to renovate my home. That was very nice of her. She's a very sweet girl. You have some nice friends, Lord Afma. Um, thanks, uh, Lawrence. You want to go to the baby shower? Uh, I don't think I'd be someone who is very fun to be around right now. Uh, you need to get out. Um, but my, my clothes, they feel ripped. Are they nice? I don't think they are. They feel wrong. I couldn't go out like this. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe we could ask Cadenza about your clothes. Well, speak of the devil, she came just in time. Looks like I made a trip here just the right moment. Hee <laughs> hee. I heard you guys talking about me and poof, I showed up. I'm like some kind of magical clothes genie, huh? Oh, Cadenza, what are you... So I guess she's she's here? Like, she magically just showed up, that's crazy. Cadenza? What? Well, oh. I came to visit you. Lady Afmao here told me yesterday that I could come visit you whenever I wanted, so I wanted to come over and bring you these clothes I made for you. I saw your clothes yesterday. Um, let's see. I saw your clothes yesterday and thought you could use something much nicer. Aww, that's so sweet. The, thank you. Aww, that's super sweet. Don't mention it. It's just like old times, remember? Ha <laughs> ha. do you know Lawrence considers us to be like brother and sister, but really I was more like his mom. Lawrence can't dress himself for poop. Ha <laughs> ha. That's so... Actually, wait, did she make the clothes that he used to wear? Because, uh, yeah, that was just a little weird. Uh, look at you, Lawrence. Your hair's a mess and the dye is coming out. Do you want me to fix you up and dye your hair back to its original color he's you mean the color it was before you turn into a chicken yeah that would actually be nice wait so his hair's dyed ha 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 i uh kind of dyed lawrence's hair literally the day before the whole chicken incident happened with caster he said he wanted to look different for whatever reason and um so my hair is nice, so I figured, why not this color? Oh, I told her no multiple times, but she insisted. I don't even like this color. You just look like your hair is on fire all the time, Cadenza. I just want it to look different because the dye literally stained his forehead. You should have seen it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, he's laughing. That's so sweet. Oh, they are like brother and sister. But they're like, well, I guess she's like his mom. 
he's dresses him or something? I don't know. That's oh wow. Um now that's now that smile there, that's the Lawrence I remember. Come on, let's get cleaned up. Don't worry, Lady Avmau, I have Lawrence looking so handsome before the shower you'll barely even recognize him. I'm serious about that too. You're not going to recognize Lawrence once I've changed his hair back to normal and cut it. Oh, Kawai Chan told me about the shower and everything on her way out of here, so I'll be there too. I have some clothes for all the babies too. See you there, Lady Afmau. Oh, that's so cute! So she's gonna give Lawrence like a super, like a turn him back to his original self, I guess? Alright, Cadenza, well, I'm gonna leave you here. You do that, and um, I will, I guess I'm looking forward to seeing that. I'm looking forward to seeing him the way that he normally is supposed to be. Okay, alright, so, um, yeah, I really am looking forward to that. That's going to be really interesting to see, I think, to see, yeah, I, should I really get rid of this armor? I, I think I'm gonna leave it here, but I think I'm gonna get rid of it, like, maybe burn it in lava, because it might bring back bad memories for Lawrence. Um, anyway, so, um, how about you today, Puma? You can come and follow me around today. Um, let's see, what room is this? Uh, oh, it's baby memory! Oh, Mama, yeah, you're so cute. We're gonna have a baby shower for uh, Kyle and Alexis today, so I'm really excited about that. And this is Zoe's room, I guess. I kind of really like this. I think there needs to be a little bit more interior design here, and I, I could do that myself. I mean, Kawaii Chan has done enough just like making the rooms and really Kawaii Chan, Kawaii Chan ifying my house, which I still don't know how I feel about. I really like it because it's all purple and stuff, and that's my favorite color, but still, it's like, blech. Um, anyway, like, I like it, don't get me wrong, but, <laughs> Zoe. Afmao, I am tremendously honored to be living with you. Kawai Chan told me all about it. I, I could never repay you enough. Yeah, you've earned my trust, Zoe, don't worry about it. Thank you, I will forever be Levin's guardian as long as you wish me to. I promise. Now go and get ready for the shower tonight. I'm super excited. Oh, everyone's excited! I'm really excited about this, too. Um, alright, so let's get going. Puma, you can catch up with me. Unless you want to stay with Zoe, you could do whatever you want to do. But let's go, um, tell all the other villagers and make sure that they're all coming tonight, um, for the shower. And let's go check on Zane, see what's going on there. Um, I think he's still in the plaza, so we're gonna go check right there. See, um... If he's up to no good, I really hope that he's up to, I really hope he's gone. Let's put it like that. I really hope he's gone. Uh, but Brian's here, and, ooh. Good day, Lady Afmau. You'll be happy to know the guard, the guard of Phoenix Drop has a new member. Meet Greywind. He's my new companion and guard dog to the t- Aww, he's adorable! Thank you. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you about the shower instead, because we're gonna skip right to that. Oh, really? We'll be there. I'm sure Kiki would not mind meeting Greywind. See you there, Lady Afmau. Come on, Greywind. On to patrol. Oh, that's so cute. And he woofs still. He's just there. And oh, Greywind, meet Puma. Right here. Just, just go. Puma, go meet Greywind. How about you keep a Greywind company and then we'll go, like, talk to, you, you talk, yeah, you talk to Greywind. Uh, sniff butts, I guess. Whatever dogs do. You guys do that. I'm gonna go check on Zane and see what he's up to. Um, let's go see. Uh, oh. Never mind. I guess he's gone? He's gone? What in the world is this? Oh, Lord Afmau, we have both a problem and a blessing. What is it? Zane hasn't been seen all day by anyone in the village. I knocked on his door, but there was no answer, and there's no way to see what's going on inside. If we don't see him for 24 hours, we are allowed to break inside to make sure that he's safe, but maybe he forgot about everything and left. That... is that possible? If an emergency came up in Ocasis, then yes, but I don't know. He's not just one to give up so easily, ever. Uh, then we can only hope. Indeed. By the way, have you thought of anything that might help my, um, engagement? Oh, there's options! I can- I, okay, so, um, they're- they're all good options. <laughs> what if we open another portal and toss Zane inside and break it? <laughs> um, what if you faked your death? I already faked my death once. You know, there was a reason I wore this mask after all. They were still able to find me and somehow knew I was alive. That's out of the question. Uh, what if we... Yeah, for jokes, for for giggles, I'm going to say, what if we open another portal and toss Zane inside and then break it? Wishful thinking. <laughs> but I'm afraid the pigmen wouldn't like something that ugly in the realm and send him back. <laughs> but in all seriousness, you know why we can't harm Zane. Everyone in the village would suffer and possibly even pay for our rash accent actions. Uh, what if you pretended to have a girlfriend? Uh, uh um, what? I, I never thought about that. It, it could be just, it could be just any girl. 
it couldn't maybe that's it could be just any girl though it would have to be a woman in power or one with magical abilities if i had someone that had that had a village of their own then yes yes that might actually work but who would we on such short the only person is it it's me isn't it N no i could no i couldn't ask you to do such a thing uh what other options do we have? Look, if you are okay posing as my girlfriend, then I am all for it. But we need to see what the laws state about this kind of event. Gods forbid there is an execution that they would force you to. I don't even want to think about that. Or they might they might automatically declare war on Phoenix Drop. Every action has repercussions. We need to figure out if this is a route that is possible. We need to casually pass this by Zane and see what would happen if we were dis if it were discovered I had another woman in my life. Uh, you're right. Dude, let's just do it. <laughs> nah, you're right. We need to. We need to know what would happen if that. If we were to use that as an excuse. If you see Zane, ask him what would happen. If I had another woman in my life, do not. I repeat, do not tell him that I do before you know what the repercussions are. If you do, I fear he might do something rash. Okay, I got you. <sighs> Thank you so much, Lord Afmal. I, I. I am so sorry to drag you through all this mess. I wish I didn't. I wish it wasn't even a thing at all to begin with. Just when things were in the village were starting to... Ugh, thank you again, Lord Fmao. Uh, tell him about the shower. Kiki's actually having it? Splendid. I'll be there. See you later, Lord Fmao. And please, keep your eyes open. Alright, so I guess I'm posing as his girlfriend? Uh, Alright, so not not yet. I have to make sure I, I, I see what's, what Zane says about that. But, uh... What is this? What is this stuff? What is this? Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna stay away from it. Maybe I shouldn't really be close to it, but, uh, alright, Garth, I'm gonna let you handle that. Um, let's go, who else do we need to, um, oh, that's right, we need to go check on, um, whatchamacallit. Uh, let's go check on everyone in here, make sure they're okay. And I don't think Zane is anywhere, let's see, just five more minutes, mommy. I'm d almost done organizing the cats. He's dreaming. Okay, cool. Um, what about Molly and, uh, oh, they're outside. Ooh, ooh. Uh, let's see, baby Alexis. She's playing with the chicken. Okay, aww. Oh, it's a baby chicken! Aw, it's, it's, it's called Nugget. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm so excited for tonight. It's such a shame Donna and Logan are going to miss the shower, but I'm sure they're having a wonderful time on their honeymoon. Aw, oh, that's right! I'm, I'm, I'm like, super excited to see, like, how they're gonna be when they come back. Maybe... Maybe they'll have like a little lemon or something. That would be cute. All right. So you, are you guys done socializing? Okay, let's go. And Brian's like, what is he doing over here? Get your dog. Sniff my dog's butt. That's not, that's not cool, man. Um, oh, it looks like we got some, some in here. Let's go see what these guys are up to. Uh, oh, Emma and Emmalyn. Oh, they're both here. And hey, look, Kyle. What's he doing? He's happily playing with his toy train. Um, let's see. I'm super excited for tonight, Appmau. Shh, don't tell Corey. I want him to be surprised as well. And, uh, Emma here told me everything about tonight. Do you think I should find something cute to wear? Hmm, never mind. I'll ask Emma. Okay, yeah, good. Good idea. Don't ask me. Don't, don't get me involved. Oh, this place looks so nice! My wife will be the death of me with all her remodeling demands. Understandable. Understandable. Okay, alright, so I believe that's everyone in the village. If not, I'm pretty sure... And Cadenza isn't even here, and Kawaii Chan's probably busy. So, um, and Emma's over here. So every yeah, that's everyone in the village. So let's go ahead and go and get ready for tonight. We can't. I don't know where Zane is. I honestly don't know where he is. Is he in here? Yeah, Puma. Is he in this house? Uh, doesn't look like it. All right. So yeah, let's go ahead and get ready for tonight. I swear it looks like Kawaii Chan catered this party. Well, at least they got different options. They got like the green apples and they got the red apples and tea and bottles. But everyone has made it here from the village and that is super exciting. I think the only people we're missing are Cadenza and Lawrence. But I know that Cadenza is doing like a hair dye job for Lawrence or something. And so I can understand. They're probably going to take a little longer. Anyway, so over here, look at all this cool stuff. We got all everyone. Everyone's like, the, the, like, this entire barn is in party mode right now. We got the presents. I don't know who brought that stuffed spider. I don't think 
I don't know who's gonna get that baby, um, let's see, baby Alexis. Oh, she's got her little doll, though. That's super cute. Um, okay, so let me see what's going on with the, uh, food. Maybe I could actually grab a plate or something. Wait, what was that all about? Uh, Dale? Very nice looking Dale, what's, what's going on? Ah, Lord F. Mao. Zane said he was busy, but he wanted to drop by to give a Alexis a very beautiful necklace. That was so kind of him. It looks expensive. Okay. That's a little weird. She didn't. And, and, and Garth? F. Mao, go ask Zane. I don't know what he's up to, but he just didn't look right. Not that he ever does. Alright, so let's follow Zane. Let's go see exactly what's going on with him. Uh. Oh. Wait a minute. There he is. What? Can I give... What? Can't I give the children a gift without being stared at judgmentally? You really need to work on your manners, Lady Athmau. Only if you work on yours. Touché. You look like you have something on your mind. Is Gareth finally going to come and fulfill his duty as the firstborn to the Lord of Ocasus? Um... What if... Yeah, what if I told you Gareth has another love in his life? Gareth having another woman in his life... Hmm, let me ask you, Lord Afmao, how would that make you feel? Happy for him, I guess? <laughs> of course. Oh, but let's say Garth did have this woman in his life. You think I would see him with her all the time, especially at that wedding. Oh, but if I recall, Garth was with you at that wedding the whole time. You two were the last to see Donna and Logan off. Funny that. What are you getting at? He smirks devilishly. Let's say that Gareth, my dear brother, whom I care for so intensely, had a girlfriend, fiancé, lover, whatever. I'd make sure to take very good care of her. She's probably a woman in power because otherwise we would just easily rip her, rip her and Gareth apart. So let's say Gareth had this woman. As his brother, I'd of course be such a gentleman to her. I'd tell her of his previous engagement and congratulate her for having such good taste. After all, Garth and I are related. Then maybe I'd take her out on a picnic to get her to get to know her more. A nice picnic, alone, in the woods, where no one would be able to hear anything. You know, if something were to accidentally happen to her. Y you monster. <laughs> as long as I'm alive, Lord Athmau, Gareth will get married to the daughter of the Lord of Ocasus. Your, your petty little scheming won't change that, unless, of course, you were to take my life into your own hands. <laughs> you and I should have a picnic sometime, without our guards. Oh, but look at the time. I need to get to my, I need to get to my beauty rest now. Toodles. Ah, by the way, you have one more day until I take Gareth. Okay. Um. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go ahead and... <sighs> oh my... Okay, alright. I, I think I'm gonna step aside for a second. I think I need to go to my house and just grab something. Huh, Cadenza. I'm actually... I was actually gonna head over to the house to grab, like, you know, some obsidian and a flint and steel so I could just, like, toss, you know, Zane into the, to the nether. What's going on? da 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 Cadenza Beauty is proud to present the Old Lawrence! Is that really you, Lawrence? No way!